गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस ट्रेनिंग एंड प्रोनिंग इन हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप सो दी नेम्स आर आई थिंक न्यू टू यू और यूनिक फॉर यू बट इन ले मैन और इन जनरल टर्म्स वी आर ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग प्रोनिंग इज ट्रीमिंग सो नाउ विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल सो वट इज द ट्रेनिंग एंड प्रोनिंग इन केस ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप so first we'll see what is the training so training means developing a desired shape of the tree with particular objectives by controlling habits of the growth so always remember so training means overall structure shape and size so training is started from nursery stage of the plant so you have to start the training from the beginning only don't think that after the training year or three year or five years you can start the training some fruits like grapes vines beer fig guava requires training because if you do the training you will enhance the yield or final yield modified one means middle one i am telling here you are lying the in case of third you are lying the main trunk up to the one meter like that and again you are lying the side branch but that is called modified central leader system is the in between or is the combination of both central leader system as well as open center that is called base system so i say i was think modify central best method for the trend so this is the most acceptable for commercial fruit cultivation combines the best qualities of central leader as well as open center system a leader develops on the young tree until it reaches the height of 2 to 3 meter and then growth is restricted laterals are selected to ascend in a spiral fashion up to the central trunk and are cut until the proper number and distribution of branches have been obtained so what are the advantages so branches are well distributed allowing plenty of sunshine to reach the interiors of the tree and the tree is structurally strong and not prone to the limb breakage so maybe due to wind sometimes limbs will break so that is not here not the case going to limited height of the tree spraying pruning and harvesting may be done easily so whatever this advantage is this advantage we are following in case of first and third all are overcome by the modified leader system so now we discuss pruning so what are the pruning or how pruning is important so pruning may be defined as art and science of the cutting away of the portion of the plant to improve its shape to influence its growth flowering and fruitfulness and to improve the quality of the product so it is done to divert a part of plant energy from one part to the another part of the plant so again i was telling so here you can maximize the yield so it is done to make the plant more productive that is in terms of yield and bear quality fruits so again i am telling it training Uh, responsible for overall shape and size, but pruning is responsible for finally higher yield. Second is increase longevity of the tree. Third, make it into manageable shape, and also to get maximum returns from the orchard. So that's why pruning is followed. Now we'll see objectives of the pruning. So to control flowering and fruiting, then to remove disease, damage, insect infested part of the plant, to remove weak shoots. thin out flower and fruits to augment production in plant which bears on new shoots it ensures access to sunshine to sunlight to bearing shoots so the minister we are cut best now you can see there are certain examples so we are cutting the uh, heading back cut this is the you can see just cutting the apical portion okay this is the after cut so now come to the thinning cuts so removal of entire shoots or branch at its junction with the trunk so in this case a ratio of terminal to the lateral buds is not disturbed less physical changes and final result is it does not increase shoot growth as well as heading cuts 
you can see here. So you are cutting from the uh, just cutting thinning. Best. Now before pruning and after pruning. So now you can see the difference. So how after pruning the plants looks like. Now goals of training pruning. So now in combined form, we can tell that producing a supporting framework for the tree, allowing annual flower formation, developing a tree which allows maximum food growth and quality development, and third is ease of management. So management means to be. Easy. This is the you can see just cutting the apical portion. Okay, this is the after cut. So objectives of training pruning. So again, if you combine it, so to develop a strong framework to control the amount of growth, to influence the productiveness, to improve the quality of product, to utilize the space efficiently. To increase the usefulness of the plant, so quality of product is also so important. Not only quantity, quality of product also fetch higher price. So the minister may cut it. Now before pruning and after pruning. So now you can see the difference. So how after pruning the plants looks like. So first we'll see what is the training. So training means developing a desired shape of the tree with particular objectives by care for us. Thank you.